Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a video that I kind of decided to do on a little bit of a whim. Um, I was going through my makeup collection and I wanted to do a makeup today to take some photos for Instagram and then I realized that, oh my god, I have so many ColourPop eyeshadows and when I opened one and I tried to use it, I realized it was expired and I'm like, ew, no, no, you have to throw some away. You have to go through it all, and I thought I might do it on camera. These are all going to be ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, which if you don't know, are um, the one of the very first products that ColourPop actually did come out with, and they're supposed to be this like creamy, really like soft, bouncy texture. It's like a really unique texture. You can use it with powders, but at the same time, it's like a very creamy and pillowy texture that was very popular when it first launched. I have a lot of these. I have a, at least... 30 I think and yeah it's obscene and I have to go through these and throw some away. So that's why I decided to film this little video today. I have here a box that I jammed full of my eyeshadows. We're gonna go through every single one. I'm gonna give you a little bit of um, an opinion on which ones I like, which ones I'd recommend and yeah I guess it's, this will be an interesting video so let's get into it. So these first two shadows are part of, of a collection of four shadows that were produced and were, or that were made in collaboration with Coffee Break with Danny. I believe it was one of the very first collaborations that were done with Colourpop um, and I have all four except I don't really know where the other two are. They're somewhere in this pile. I don't even remember the names of these shadows so yeah. Uh, but these are two of my favorite colors from the line from the collection. Uh, this was um, Kindness which is like, this beautiful color right here which I love so much and then this was called Hope and this one is a little bit dirtier. But the idea of these eyeshadows was that you were supposed to put them on top of other eyeshadows to create like a really beautiful transforming effect. It's actually very similar to what Kat Von D has done with her Prism eyeshadow palette. When you swatch them, they don't really show up that much, but they look a lot better when they're to on top of other shades. Let me see how these smell. Oh god, yeah, no. These have gone bad. Um, especially this one. Yeah, it's so sad because I really like these shades so much. Damn it. Okay, so yeah, these two, throwing away, getting rid of them, they are bad. Moving on, I have um, Straight Trippin'. This is a newer eyeshadow. This is a matte shade. It looks like that. It smells okay. It seems to be a little choppy of a swatch. I used to really love this shade. It was a lot creamier before, but now I feel like it's, yeah, it's choppy, so I have to get rid of this one. So that... I'm also getting rid of. That's, that's I feel like I'm doing pretty well so far. Okay, this is from Kathleen Light's co collaboration with ColourPop. This is the shade Cornelius. It's in pretty good condition so far. It's not um, dried up. It doesn't smell bad, so I'm gonna keep that. Then also from the Kathleen Light's collaboration, I have Blaze. This is probably one of my favorite shades from ColourPop. And this is still pretty creamy as well. So this is what that one looks like. I love these shades so much. Yeah, I've almost hit pan on this one too, so I'm keeping Blaze. And then I have Kathleen Lights from the same collection. This is like a straight up true gold. I use it all the time. It is one of my favorite shades. And it swatches absolutely beautifully. Just look at how beautiful that is. This is like your straight up true orangey gold. It reminds me very much of those like orangey of those uh, chocolates that you get that are made to look like they're gold coins. This is what this shade reminds me of. I have Glow, which I believe is also from the ColourPop uh, collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I mean, I'm trying to think, would I be able to use this? Because like, there's nothing wrong with the smell or the creaminess, but it is like a straight up creamy white base. So like, would I be able to use it? I don't, I can't remember ever having used it like more than once. So even though this is a good, color I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't want to just keep it for the sake of having a complete collection of shadows you know what I mean so yeah that is going bye bye this shadow from the, uh, Colourpop this is one of their single eyeshadows this is in the ultra metallic uh, finish if you want a really beautiful Colourpop shadow get them in the ultra metallic finish they are truly beautiful I love that finish is probably my favorite out of everything and this out of everything that they offer and this is in the shade game face if I haven't said that already this I found like when I first looked at it I thought it was very similar to 
Kathleen White, but um, I actually realized that it is um, darker. It is more of a coppery shade versus a straight up gold. This is Game Face right here. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. And yes, I will be keeping this. Then moving on, I have Rex. This this shade I have hip hand on. You can see that I definitely love it. I should be using it in a tutorial actually because it is a real beautiful shade. Yeah, this is what it looks like right here. It's like this black with like this beautiful violet shimmer. It smells okay. It hasn't expired. Still pretty creamy, so I'll be keeping a that. Okay, so this is actually something quite weird that ColourPop did. These are two shadows with the exact same name, except this one was the one that I had first, and this uh, was discontinued. And I loved this shade. If I had known that they were going to discontinue it, I would have bought more of these. But um, it is called Cheap Date, and it is in the metallic finish and oh my god it swatches like an absolute dream it looks it's so reflective it looks absolutely beautiful and then when they came out with another shade that was called cheap date also once they had discontinued this they came out with another version of cheap date but this is an ultra glitter finish. This one is Cheap Date's original formula. As you can see, it is very, um, it's a lot more opaque. And then the, and then the one to the right is their new version of Cheap Date. So yeah, I'm keeping both of these. Then I have this shade called Stereo. I've had this for a while. Oh god, no, yeah, I'm getting rid of this one. <laughs> it's so sad because it is a beautiful shade. This is a color that I feel like it probably never really got much use out of, but it is beautiful. It is in the metallic f formula and it's like this beautiful uh, shimmery plum color. It stinks. I'm going to throw it away. It is bad and it's done for. So this next shade is called Mooning. I don't even... Yeah, see, I can't even remember having these shades. It is a shimmery... Brown shade. It actually looks quite good. It looks quite new. I don't even remember when I got it, but it doesn't smell bad and it looks very creamy. So I'm keeping this. This is mooning and this is in the uh, pearlized finish. All right. So then I have Lala and I think I might have two of these. Um, where's my other one? Wait, no, no, I don't have two of these. I just have one. Okay. So this is the shade Lala and it swatches beautifully. It looks like that. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. This is one of my favorite shades. Keeping this. Then I have this shade called Sugar. Mm. Looks like that. That's it right there. Honestly, it smells kind of bad and I can't really picture myself using this shade anyway, so I'm gonna let go of it. Moving on, I have some shades from the Shadexo collection that they did forever ago. Um, yeah. Oh god. I know that I loved, loved this shade called EXO. And it's old as heck. Yeah, this is... Mm. But it's, it's so it's still creamy. It is still so creamy and beautiful. It's like, it's right on my knuckle, right there. Oh my god, this would be a beautiful high, highlight shade, but it stinks. Um, then from the same collection, I have Rebel. This I never used. It is a beautiful color, though. It's just... I mean, I feel like when I got these, I wasn't... Oh, ooh. Yeah, see, I I can't believe I never used this. I feel like when I got this color, I wasn't really into experimenting much, much with color because I just was starting off makeup. And yeah, nowadays, like, this would be a very intriguing color for me. Damn it. And it, yeah. Yeah, it smells. Okay, yeah. No, I can't keep that. In the same collection, I have Selfie. This is a terracotta shade. It's really quite beautiful. It is, okay, it is so creamy. Like, this is creamy after several years. And, yeah, I have to go rid of it. I can't, I can't keep that. All right, so this is a newer one. This is called Glow Stick. This is, like, this vibrant yellow. And I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish it was so, I wish so bad that it was matte, but it's not. It's in, it's a pressed pigment. It says it's not for the eye area, which I think is kind of weird because, I mean, I still use it for, like, face stuff. That's what it looks like. I think I could still use this, actually, because I do, like, some colorful makeup every now and then, so I have used this for that, and it doesn't smell, so that I'm keeping. 
Uh, this shade is called DJAF. Don't... Wow. Wow. It just fell out of the pan. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys, just for hex. Well, yeah, it's not even swatching. Um... Not keeping that. I have to pick it up off my floor now. <laughs> Alright, then I have... Telepathy. Oh my god, I love this shade. This is such a beautiful shade. Kathleen Lights again made it. She is really good with these ColourPop shades. And it is in the Ultra Metallic finish, which is definitely one of my favorite finishes that ColourPop makes. This is like this yellow gold color. It is... This is like... It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. That's what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning. I use it all the time and it's not expired yet, so that's a good thing. This next eyeshadow that I want to talk about is one that I definitely got very recently. It's one of my favorite sh shades of the moment. This is the ColourPop Fluffy eyeshadow. Definitely not expired. Still creamy, still beautiful. Let me swatch this for you. This is what it looks like right there. So very sheer, uh, very beautiful. I've worn it on Instagram a few times, and I love that, so I'm keeping that. And then moving on, I have Millionaire. This is a color... Yeah, this doesn't smell. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. Let me swatch this for you. It is described as a... Uh, metallic finish. But I just think it's a little bit metallic but with a lot of glitter. This is what it looks like right there. That is millionaire right there. I think I got it this summer actually. Then I have Bravery. This is I think from the Coffee Break with Danny collab. Yeah and it's dried up too. So I'm getting rid of it. So yeah bye bye Bravery. Alright this color right here uh, is called Central Perk. I definitely know that I don't, it doesn't smell, so I think that's a good sign. Um, but it is a matte, and it still looks pretty beautiful. It's that one right there. This next color is called Strength. Yeah, this is, again, from the Coffee Break with Danny collaboration that they did. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, like, this is not even showing up, so... And it's actually kind of getting cracked because it's so old. So I'm getting rid of that. Then I have Hammered, which... Is a color that's kind of falling apart, but um, I still really love it and use it. This is like your khaki green, super glittery color. It is in the metallic finish, and it's kind of falling apart, but that's because I pressed down too hard, and then it kind of uh, got in this big mess. So it looks like that. These are really the worst swatches ever, but I am sorry about that. This color is called Deluxe. This smells bad. This, I believe, is from the Shan XO collection. Really is quite a beautiful shade. Yes, he's so creamy, so beautiful. It's a pearlized finish. It has like, these little metallic gold shimmer flecks in it. But it's like, so old, so yeah, I have to get rid of it. This color is called Boy Band. This is it right there. It is a pearlized finish. Oh, what will be very similar to the other one. Oh, actually, yeah, they're kind of... They're very similar. This is boy band right here, and then this is that other one. Um, so yeah, I think they'll be very similar, so I'll keep boy band. Plus, boy band, I, it hasn't had time to expire, so that is good. Okay, then I have this color right here. This is called Co-Pilot. I believe it's still available, but I got it pretty recently anyway. This is a color that I never expected myself to get, but I got it, and I like it a lot. It looks like I haven't really dipped into it that much, but I have been loving it as an inner corner highlight. This is in the uh, metallic uh, finish, and it is absolutely beautiful. Let me swatch it for you. That is it right there. As you can see, it's like this very light pink color with a lot of micro glitter in it. It's really quite beautiful, and I love it. So I think that if... You like like a pink, like a very icy pink inner corner highlight, you probably will like that shade if they're still making it. And then I have a maze which sadly had quite an adventure during shipping. It almost completely fell apart. So I actually got this as a gift and when I opened it, it was all messy and it was like all over the place. But then I like sort of uh, pressed it back in and it still works just fine. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. I got it as a Christmas present, by the way, from my good friend, and 
look at how beautiful that is I mean, it's so pigmented. It is very, it's like covered in this micro glitter. It's an ultra glitter formula. That's what it looks like on the bottom. It looks amazing all over the lid. Love that shade. If you are someone who just likes a little bit more of like a natural look or if you just don't want anything colorful and you want something more neutral and easy to wear, this is an amazing all over, all over the lid shade. Would highly recommend it. It's like a very much, it's a kind of a cheaper alternative to some of the colors in the Naked 3 palette. Then the next one that I have is Paradox. I'm really excited about this. I've used it a few times and I love it. This is like a um, satin finish and it's like a plummy red shade. Sometimes I think it's like a more red, sometimes I think it's more plum or burgundy, but um, nevertheless it is absolutely beautiful and it's like this very creamy red color. It's a very bright red. That's what it looks like right there. The last but not least, I have Liberty. I have had two of these, or three. I think two, actually. This is one of my favorite shades ever. It's a finish that will give you this ultra saturation of a color that will make your eyes look like they're covered in liquid metal. I've used this on my face, on my lips, on my body for Halloween and uh, my eyes as well and it looks absolutely beautiful so let me swatch it for you you've probably already seen it on Instagram if you follow me I'm on my makeup account and in videos as well but I'm just gonna swatch it for you for those of you who haven't seen it yet but boom boom it is so beautiful let me find some clean Yeah, see that's it right there. I have not found a single silver eyeshadow on the market that swatches or looks as pigmented as this one right here. This is definitely the best silver eyeshadow on the market and it's only $5. It is really truly amazing. So if you're looking for a really amazing silver eyeshadow, this Liberty from Colourpop is my favorite. So this I'm definitely keeping. It hasn't expired yet. And I love it. So yeah. So I am keeping 19 eyeshadows and getting rid of 14. And I'm actually very proud of myself because I did not really realize how many eyeshadows I had that I didn't need I did not need anymore. So now I have just so much more space in my eyeshadow drawer where I keep these. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.